合肥智策 ELAC Steam Quality Testing System is in accordance with EN285, HTM2031, and CGMP. The system includes non-condensable gas testing device, dual-channel thermometer, electronic balance, vacuum bottle, pitot tube, condensed water sampler, and related pipe fitting tools. The equipment is easy to operate, light to carry, and suitable for on-site assembly and installation. Help to conduct pure steam quality tests in different operating environments. The steam testing project include non-condensable gases, overheat value, dryness, and the system is also equipped with condensed water sampling device. Connect the pipe to the pure steam test board. Connect pure steam intake pipe to non-condensable gas test unit. Connect to the circulating cooling water. Adjust the steam control valve and the cooling water control valve. Let the pure steam enter the non-condensable gas test device and turn into condensate between 70 to 75 Celsius. After setting the level of gas collecting scale tube and the condensate collecting scale tube to zero, the non-condensable gases in pure steam can be collected. When the condensate reaches the maximum level, shut off the pure steam intake valve. Read and record the volume of gas and condensate collected during the test respectively. The volume of non-condensable gas is calculated into percentage and according to the requirement, it must be less than or equal to 3.5%. Connect the thermal expansion pipe with thermocouple to the pitot tube. Connect the thermocouple to a T1 port on the dual channel thermometer. Connect the thermocouple prop with stainless steel shell to the T2 port of the dual channel thermometer. In the thermal expansion pipe, the temperature value of pure steam at local atmospheric pressure is measured, and the superheat value can be obtained by subtracting the boiling point at local atmospheric pressure from the measured temperature value. When reading the data, the temperature in the steam pipe also needs to be recorded. According to the requirements, the overheat value should be less than or equal to 25 degrees Celsius. The steam dryness value can be tested directly at the same testing point after the overheat value test is completed. First, weigh the vacuum bottle with an electronic balance and record the data. Fill the vacuum bottle with 600 to 700 ml cold water. Weigh the bottle again and record. Measure and record the temperature of cold water in the vacuum bottle with a thermal couple. Connect the rubber hose to the pitot tube and let the pure steam go into the vacuum bottle. Monitor the water temperature in the vacuum bottle with a thermometer. When the water temperature reaches 80 degrees Celsius, remove the rubber hose and stop the pure steam input. Record the average temperature in the steam pipe with a thermometer throughout the process and record the data after the test ends. Shake the vacuum bottle well. Measure the final temperature of the water in the bottle and record. Weigh the final weight of the vacuum bottle and record. The dryness value of pure steam can be obtained by input the recorded value in the dryness value formula. According to the regulations, the dryness value of pure steam should be no less than 0.9 for non-metallic loads and no less than 0.95 for metal loads. Connect the circulating water pipe to both the water inlet and outlet of the sampler. Connect the steam to the condensate sampler to get a continuous cooling water circulation. 
adjust the steam valve. Let the pure steam slowly go through the sampler and collect the condensate at the bottom of the sampler. The system is equipped with certified calculation tables to help with calculation and generate test reports.